keep on thinking you can help everybody, but they're going to suck you dry every chance they get. Keep on thinking that you can pray for everybody and people are going to appreciate it. Some people don't even want you to pray for them. Some people don't want your advice. Some people just hate conviction. And it don't matter how much potential we see in them. It don't matter how much you try to mold a person or you try to show a person, you know, different aspects of the world or whatever. If people are set in their ways, if people got narcissistic behavior, and if people just don't, like, just straight out refuse to change, then there's nothing that you can do that's going to help that person. You can plant seeds in their brains. You know what I'm saying? You can leave hints and ideas uh, to develop in their subconscious when they just on autopilot or sleeping or, you know, spending some alone time and they ain't scattered brain all over the place because they in their feelings and they letting their emotions control them instead of them controlling their emotions. And that's what happened. And you know, if something resonates with them or if they get clarity about a situation, if they remember who planted their seed and they know how to get in contact with them, they'll reach out to you. You know what I mean? And if they can't or don't, then they will pray to the Creator, the Most High Source, Energy God, whatever you want to call it, and thank you through through the Source. They'll keep you on. You know, you'll have a place in their heart. And then at other times, people will just appreciate you and tell people about, yo, it was this man one time or this woman one time that told me, and they was right, boy. They really helped me. Because, man, people can front and act like they don't want no help. They can act like they got it all figured out all they want. But one, th one thing or one person or one existence that you cannot fool is the spirit. Spirit always knows what's best, no matter how much you choose to react and act from the flesh. Don't matter. Spirit still the ultimate existence at the core of your being. So I don't know who people be thinking they fooling. You know what I'm talking about? You can fool you because you operating in the flesh, but you can't fool spirit because spirit belongs to the source. That's why when people have to face their demons or face their guilt and their shame, they got to isolate themselves. They got to be in the solitude. They don't want people to see them. They got to get missing. Or, you know, the great saying, man, kill yourself because you a hater or because you're not making sense or because you ain't trying to tap into reality. That's what that saying means, kill yourself. And that's what Judas was on when he realized he was a sucker for snitching on Jesus. He was a sucker for trying to gain power through finances, man, over truth. <laughs> so he had to face your demon. So you can extend your hand all you want, man. But some people you got to feed with a long handle spoon. And some people you, you can't feed at all. You just leave room for somebody else to feed them. And just hope that they get fed. Because they can't sit at your table no more. They showed you they was unworthy of that in whichever way. So, yeah, man. Just keep that in mind, man. Like, and especially if you one of those people who ain't trying to help yourself. Well, if you ain't helping yourself, you can't help nobody else. Just like if you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. Not properly. Only to your best ability. And that ain't too high of a level because you don't even have those qualities about yourself. That's why conscious people always want to know why. Like, why do people do some of the stuff that they do? And it's clearly because they are operating from a low frequency, a low vibration. And people hate gradually elevating. They don't want to evolve, man, because it takes away from the parts that they consider as fun. Because they ain't branched out to learn or experience nothing else. They stuck. And that little small head, head space, and that's their mindset. And it's hard to break a person out of that, that benefit from that. Even though it's a low vibration, they don't even realize how many awards and great things of optimistic energy and high-mindedness and power and loving abundance. Man, they don't even know that all of that and some take place in the higher realms of evolution, vibration, energy, and frequency, man. Yeah, people love talking about the third eye, but they don't talk about the crown chakra like that, though. They talk about being kings and queens, though. They talk about how they always got their crown, they straightened their crown or whatever. But, man, listen, they ain't even got past the sacral chakra. 
You know what I'm talking about? And when you, and then if you start talking to them about the heart chakra, you can tell that's blocked. Because all they're going to talk about is loyalty. They don't want to talk about love. <laughs> so you ain't even tapped into that chakra. So don't even start talking about your third eye.